So similar to the problems we were just looking at, again with this formula, um, and with any formula, if you know enough information to plug in enough stuff to get down to one unknown, like just A or just R, you can use solver. So here we're looking for the Kármán ratio, which is in fact R, when we've been given an infinite sum, and A, the initial amount. So remember that A is your initial amount, because that's often how they would tell you it in a word problem. So using our infinite sum formula, find the common ratio, R, when A is 9 and infinite sum is 27. So I'm going to plug in what I know. Infinite sum is 27, so I'll say 27 is equal to A, which is 9, divided by 1 minus R, all in brackets. And if we put that in the solver, you should get R is equal to 0 0.66667, etc., repeated. Um, you can write that as a fraction if you like, uh, two-thirds as well. Um, but now you know what the common ratio is here, 0 0.66666667. Now because it's a repeating decimal, the more sixes you put, the more accurate your answer will actually be. Or you can recognize that six repeated is the same as two-thirds. Um, looking at another example, find the common ratio again, so they want R here. So you could pause it and see if you can get through this on your own. But same idea, let's plug in everything that we know, because it'll leave us just one thing we don't know. So our infinite sum is 24. So we're going to say 24 is equal to A, which is in this case is 12. The initial amount was 12, divided by 1 minus R. Putting that into solver, you will get Sorry, it's not equal, but you will get r is equal to 0 0.5, or r is equal to a half. So again, keep that in mind. Solver is pretty powerful for you, and for any of the formula and any of the problem that we've done, if you can identify the fact that you've got everything but one thing that you're looking for, you can put everything you know into the formula and use Solver to find the one thing you don't know.